Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video and share subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The enemy time is running out when it comes to your life. Their time is running out. Their time is running out. This world is so serious. I like I want to start shouting. I remember that people will say, but you said you shout too much. <laughs> so I have to calm down. <laughs> I wanted to start shouting. I say, ah, the enemy time has, is over. I remember that is a short video. Before somebody say, ah, so I said, am I here? Am I here? <laughs> don't, don't worry. Nothing will happen to your ear. Your ear is covered with the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Nothing will happen to your ear. And everybody say, my ear, my ear, you shout too much. Okay. Nothing will happen to your ear. <laughs> uh, my ear is not allowed as the siren of the police now. At least we still hear it and they still pass. <laughs> God bless you. So I wanted to just say this message in a very serious way, but I have to like calm down because the truth remains, child of God. The enemy cannot get your attention. They cannot get your attention. That is why they are not showing up. They are not showing up in different ways. Pay attention. The devil is trying to get your attention in different ways. They are trying to provoke you in a way that you will start reacting. That you will start reacting. They will use even people among the believers to make you react somehow. Because they want your attention. Your attention is something that is very, very valuable to them. It is very valuable. They want to take it, that value. Because when you lose that attention, you start yelling. You start doing anything. You start looking for them. You start trying to fight their battle in a kind of way. <clears throat> the Bible says, the weapon of our warfare, they are not kind of. Say they are not kind of, they are mighty. They are mighty through God. They are mighty. To the power of the Holy Ghost, they are mighty to the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. They try to get your attention, but you deny them that satisfaction. One thing that they don't want to ever see you do is to deny them of satisfying themselves. When you deny them of what they want to know, when you deny them of what they want to see, when you deny them of what they want to hear, they will even show up from your friends, from your family, from members, from people that are called Christians. There are different ways that these demons will show up. You can say something that is right. You will see the person that is opposing you was supposed to be somebody supporting you. You are like, ah, this person was supposed to be supporting me. Why is, he or she, why is he or she opposing me? Why? Because the devil is looking for a way to get your attention. If they cannot get your attention, they will show up in people. They will show up even in family members. They will show up. That is why sometimes you rebuke some things you see your loved ones doing. You cast the spirit out. It's not that you hate them. When you see a sister that you love and you know the sister loves you, suddenly the sister starts acting strange. You have to cast out that power that has entered your sister to use to, to come against you. Sometimes it is not their fault. Sometimes because they are cold. It's because they are cold. A cold body will contain demon. You understand? So a hot body cannot contain demon. A body, when I mean hot body, a radical, a radical, radical, a radical body for the Lord cannot contain demon. So sometimes it is not because they are evil, it's because they are neither whole, hot nor cold. 
So sometimes the devil can easily get to them. There is a sister. <clears throat> there is a sister who was staying with his brother, and the brother was a pastor. The spirit of is he lost enter inside this pastor that night. He penetrated into him. And the thing was moving the man. Go and lay with your sister. Can you imagine? Go and lay with your sister. The thing was pushing him. He could not sleep. All his head was not thinking about his sister's body. How his sister will look like. The body of his sister. How it would be like if he is with his sister. How everything would be. He, he became restless. He will move. He will look at his sister. He will go back again. He was fighting the demon. That was his test as well. That was his test. God allowed such so that he would see it as his test. Not that he was not hot, but it was his test. Until he now realized that something is wrong. And he started rebuking the demon. You power, I command you out of my body. You power, you are a liar. You power, the, the, the man... Of God started vibrating. He started vibrating in prayer. No, this cannot be. If he did not realize it and say no to that lust, he would have done it. After doing it, the church will close. People will say he slept with his sister. Now the demon will leave him. His eye will be clear, open. He will not be saying, I didn't how did this happen? How, how will he defend himself? So there are some things that showed up in the body of people. It is demon. It is not their fault. Because the enemy is trying to control somebody that will use a demon. They are trying to destroy someone that will use demon to use somebody else. Hallelujah. They can't get your attention. Don't be surprised when people, when this thing starts showing up, even from people you saw in the supermarket, you are doing your... Your groggery and somebody is just hating you, just looking at you like this. You are like, and why is this person just staring me down? Like, like you know the way they do it. Me, I don't know. They do the thing. They will stare you down, stare you up, stare you down, stare you up. You are like, what did I do? I only came to buy something. You can even be in, in, in a shop and suddenly the security person have left every other person. They start following only you. Like you are a thief. Know that you are there to steal. But they start following. They leave every other person. The moment they saw you, they are following you. Following you. Following you. Following you. You want to buy something. They are there. They are standing close. You are, because there is something that wants you to react. They already see who you are. They are trying to get your attention. In order to get what they want out of you. They will never get it. What they are looking for, they will not find it. Hear me. They are showing up in people. They are showing up in places. They are showing up in offices. They are showing up in hospitals. They are showing up among families. They are showing up even among someone's children. They will not get that attention. If they want to show up through your children, the Lord has given you the power to come against that spirit and your children will be delivered. Don't give the devil the chance. Because the enemy is showing up in different kind of ways. A manager that loves you before suddenly started hating on you. A boss that, that said he's going to give you promotion, it's time for you to be promoted, it's acting funny. Somebody who said they want to support your ministry, it is time for them to support their acting funny. You need to understand that the devil showed up in different ways. They will even show up through people. If you are a minister, they will want to get your attention, even through wrong comments. You must know all these things. You must know all these things. But hear me. No matter how the devil want to try to get your attention, they cannot get your attention. And I am praying for you. There is a coverage over you. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. You abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is a covering. There is a covering over you. That thing that they are looking for, they will not get it. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. 
And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.